Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with a brand new FGO video and here in this video I'm going to react to um, the new identity, a new class has come out in FGO and the, like, you know, like Oberon that we saw in Lost Bell 6, his new noble phantasm I'm going to react to. Now, uh, <laughs> basically what happened is uh, like a few days ago, not few days, I think one day ago or something like that, like yesterday or something, or maybe the day after yesterday, before yesterday, um, I was <laughs> browsing the internet, uh, like, you know, trying to find more FGO content, which I can, like, you know, do. And then I came across some kind of uh, um, art where there was like a new class, you know, it's called Pretender. And I was like, um, what the hell is this? Is this some kind of a new fan art or something? Like, I, I did not like really give it much mind. I kind of skipped past it. And I thought it was some kind of, uh, you know, those like type of uh, new uh, original characters that people make or original classes that people made. I, I thought it was something like that. Like, uh, and then <laughs> yesterday, I think, huh, someone mentioned in my comments, like, you know, that uh, will you react to Oberon's new, like, you know, video? And I was like, what, Oberon's new video? And then it connected. I was like, oh, so that was a real thing. And then I checked out one of my, uh, uh, like, you know, uh, person who I'm subscribed to, uh, uh, FGO YouTube, uh, uh, who puts out FGO video, which I'm going to watch out in this video, like, you know, this guy. Uh, I think Neo Benedict, yeah. Uh, I usually like you know uh, uh, like go to his or her channel to find out what new things are happening, and then I saw that they have like you know uh, posted a video here which is called Oberon's True Noble Phantasm and Identity, and everything clicked. I was like, okay, so that was a real thing. That means <laughs> I kind of dismissed this before. I thought it was some kind of a fan art or something. But I, I really was like not expecting FG to suddenly f like you know bring up a new class, and that was really surprising. So I'm going to check it out in this episode, uh, in this video. And another thing that I'm going to do here is like uh, like uh, at, at the end of the video, uh, I did some summoning, uh, more summoning using five tickets, I think, <laughs> just so if I could get some like you know four star servant and like i'm going to show those five like you know uh, i did get someone and those five lit like, little summonings i'm going to show in the ending portion of the video uh, unfortunately i don't have my reactions because i just recorded me like you know the summoning portions i did not record my reaction to it so that will be in the end of the video so tune uh, like you know, if you want to check that out as well be sure to like you know uh you know that's in the last portion of the video you can skip to that as well so yeah all right anyways um so let's start with this one first uh this is oberon's true noble uh phantasm and identity so yeah so here we go let's start wow he really changed whoa what the Whoa, what is this? What the? Wait, 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 what, what happened in the end? Invincible? There it is! Ruler to Pretender! Wow! Oh my god. This is the Oberon. Pause here. Oberon. Uh, Fortigan lie like Fortigan. Fortigan, the will of Britain, his saint craft was partially corrupted into Oberon upon arrival in the British Lost Belt by Welsh fairies. As the Morse King, he is a threat to humanity who desires destructions of Britain and pan-human history. My name is Oberon, Oberon Vortigran. Now it's time to raise the curtain on the strategy, uh, tragedy, the pilgrim's journey ends here. Okay, I think I'll probably, uh, like, you know, you know, put some kind of spoiler tag in the title of the video. Because I think this is a big spoiler or something. Uh, yeah, I should do that. Most probably here. Because I don't mind spoilers because I myself am pretty much spoiled about a few things because I've already checked out Lost Bell 6 trailers and all, you know, the uh, uh, the characters as well, Faye Lancelot and Oberon as well. So I don't mind spoilers, but people who might mind spoilers, I'll, I'll probably give that in the title. Uh, yeah, this is a big spoiler. So, yeah. All right. So, <laughs> well, mm, 
first things first here. Okay, that's the end of the video, I think. Yeah, first things first here. Uh, Overrun really changed. Damn. <laughs> oh boy. So that's like the class really makes sense now. Pretender. So she was he was pretending to be someone else. Wow, this this really is interesting in a way because this means we will see characters like this in the future Like for example, we'll see some character who is pretending to be someone and then suddenly BAM Something like this happens, you know, and we realize that oh that person was not that person, but that was person is actually this person <laughs> Okay, and um, Interesting now. I wonder like I, I don't think they have it's just a, a class for the game. I think and I'm sure they'll probably uh, release servants on this class as well. This has probably become a new class in the game as well. I think so. You know, like uh, there might be pretended servants in the future. We're going to see. And uh, it'll be interesting to see what, uh, type of, uh, what type of characters there will be in the pretender. And now, so this basically means that, so that's why his uh, class were this type, like, you know, kind of, uh what can i say like Oberon's class was as, I, as far as i heard that his class was kind of mm, not fixed like i think like there's one time when he was a rider and then an archer or something like you know like it was kind of jumping around so he was neither of them he was just um uh what do you call it um it, it was just a pretender like that's his original class and that's why maybe he's able to pretend to be other classes i don't know just, or just like you know uh, my guesses and uh, okay so for the noble phantasm now <laughs> i remember seeing the noble phantasm over on uh, first noble phantasm before and like you know in, in his attack patterns there was this like you know he kind of became a small little i think moth they said yeah uh, like and i was kind of confused as to what uh, insect that was but someone in the comment section let me know like that's a moth so he becomes a moth uh, with a little helmet and <laughs> You know, goes and kind of like uh, attacks the enemy. Here, we see that there's like so many here in this section. There's so many different types of insect kind of coming around him. There's like a dragonfly and there's like a, a what is wasp? I think yeah, wasp. And I'm not sure what these are, but you know, like some insects. Yeah, these are coming to her him. And he becomes kind of like a, you know, a locust swarm, if you, if you know what I mean, like, you know, like a swarm of like insects, it looks, looks like a locust swarm, you know, and then there's this huge monstrosity, I'm not sure what this is supposed to be, but, <laughs> you know, and I think these are all filled with insects, so he basically becomes an insect and attracts insects towards him and attacks the enemies or allies in this yeah and attacks them reduces their um i think what's this A attack and now here's one thing i did not understand here this section here okay no effect and then this is invincible like is this part of the noble phantasm like like please let me know in the comment section if so like what happens like her his noble phantasm hits the enemy and you know they get these type of like debuffs here and a lot of damage you know attack uh, reduces on all where was that section this this part here like the attack reduces and all and then later on what happens they get an invincible oh no no there's this another thing i okay okay this one so it goes to sleep i think this is like ZZZZ zzz zzz here so the uh so like you know the enemy servants go to sleep and they have invincible I think that's what happens correct me if i'm wrong so this means that like if well, i'm sure like oberon will be released as a playable servant later on if he's uh released as a servant his attack will be basically like noble phantasm reduces attack um the servants enemy servants go to sleep and they have invincible on so that means they won't be able to attack you for one turn but you also won't be able to attack them for one turn because they have invincible but if you have some kind of c which like you know ignores invincible you can do that like that's one thing and if you have any skill 
uh, like that's the way around to that but i think it's basically this isn't it like very interesting if that really is the case if i'm not making a mistake here like if if it really is that the enemies go to sleep and there's invincible on yeah like i think i've never seen any noble phantasm which inflicts invincible in the enemy as a demerit i don't think so yeah so it will be really interesting to see like you know this and uh, yeah okay and then the okay <laughs> pretender looks really cool so he basically became uh, a pretender from a ruler like interesting thing here because ruler I, as far as i know ruler does not interfere in anything they're like the neutral party always so it's pretending to be a ruler but it's actually an a pretender and the pretender looks really cool like you know it has a little hat kind of it's bowing i think yeah and uh wow huh. all right and obviously we can see uh, Oberon's change in costume as well so yeah so yeah guys that was it that was my reaction to Oberon's true noble phantasm and identity and uh, the pretender class and all that stuff so yeah that was fantastic and another thing i forgot to mention here the music when his noble phantasm is happening this one and his voice acting there you go wow okay that was really great the voice acting and uh, uh, coupled with the background music oh my god it's like the background music is kind of like a you know, mysterious type of a music <laughs> like, you know suspenseful music or something like that i'm not sure how to uh mention it but something like that and uh yeah that was great oh another thing uh so this means this will have some kind of relationship with uh some other classes maybe it will be stronger towards some other class and weak for us like here we can see like it's resisting like the enemies are resisting wait a minute um who who are the servants that are resisting here just a sec the middle one is not resisting um okay where are the servants here it is Okay, so Castoria and um, I think this is a foreigner we are going to get later. I'm not sure what her name is. Oh, wait. So only Mashu is not resisting. Okay, so does that mean that uh, all the like you know like Castoria is a caster and this is a foreigner I think. So like so it's weak towards caster and foreigners and some other servants as well so i'm guessing it will be something like that uh i'm not sure but who knows i don't know like i'm not really able to figure out what it is maybe like you know it's kind of like an alter ego in a way like alter ego is uh like, you know effective towards three classes yeah three classes and it's not effective it's neutral towards the other three classes or is it no ha huh and uh, it's also something similar to that i guess maybe yeah maybe like you know uh, like alter ego is effective towards three classes which is caster a rider and assassin here we can see a caster here which is castoria maybe a uh, pretender is weak towards caster rider and assassin and also foreigner i guess i don't know and maybe it's effective towards saber um, archer and lancer I don't know I'm, I'm just making guesses at this point but yeah anyways all right so that was it that was Oberon's uh, true noble phantasm and identity I think I should probably <laughs> like you know in the in, in the title I should leave, like, give it like a spoiler tag or something and I think I should keep the thumbnail as a spoiler as well I think I, I don't think like people who really do not want to watch this should watch this because it's, it's basically a huge spoiler so yeah i think i'll do that so yeah and also um <clears throat> okay so yeah that was it and now uh my roles uh i'm going to show you my uh i think five i used five tickets or six tickets i can't remember and uh those roles like i i really don't expect getting something i got got the five tickets from the monthly you know the tickets that you get from the shop 
and I thought like maybe like you know I, I just use them in, in hopes of getting a single four star servant and I did get one so that's what I'm going to show you that's why I did not like you know, record myself reacting to it because I like you know I, I basically opened my screen recorder in my phone and just uh, like you know rolled and I hopefully I got something and so I'll be playing that video after, after this so uh, after the video ends I'm going to talk about it お待たせしましたマスター水着で無敵な沖田さん参上です必殺のジェット天然離心流で渚の話題を独り占めですともさあ一緒に夏の大空に飛び出しましょう新選組インザスカイall right so that was it guys so as, as you can see I, I think i got chiron and also um um okta soji assassin now <laughs> then okay so here's the thing like those are the five or six rows that i did and after that i think i used another multi 30 squads i used and i got basically nothing so i, I did not show that you know and i think i got one c from that but that's just it so yeah so basically that's what happened i used my six uh tickets and 30 quads I, and I, I i i've told to myself i won't spend a single you know after this uh quads after this so all for space ishtar so that's what basically happened and nice i think i i, I got something at least i got okta soji assassin and i'm happy with that i, I would have been happy if i also got melt but melt will have to wait for the rerun you know like i think in the in the next year in the rerun i'll probably i don't know like you know new summer servants are going to come out so yeah i might not do that even ah it's, it's a tough choice you know like <laughs> like what basically happens in summer servants are like you either get it on the same like you know uh run or you basically are unable to use you know or get them in the future rerun because new summer servants are going to come after that and you're always concerned that oh i need to save for them so i think that's basically what's going to happen but like you know and in, in, even in the, I, I might use some tickets in the next rerun you know i might use some tickets and just try for melt and yeah i think i'll do that next year you know when the rerun comes i'll use some tickets to try to get melt and then i'll probably like roll for some uh the new summer servants that are going to come i think um abigail uh, summer is going to come the next year i think i'm not sure 
and say like Yara is going to come or something like that. Something like that is going to happen. So yeah, I think I'll do that. So yeah, guys, that was it. So yeah, I'm happy with my uh, <laughs> role because you know, like six tickets and two four star servants, that's a pretty big deal, I think. And I already had Kyron. I think my Kyron is like level uh, NP3 now. Like I even got him once before, two times before. So yeah, that's something. So yeah, guys. So guys, guys, that was it. Thank you guys for watching. This was my reaction to Oberon's True Noble Phantasm and Identity, the new class uh, fight Grand Order. And I myself have been uh, like you know obviously have been spoiled by because I watched uh, uh, kind of spoiled in a way. Uh, you know, watched the trailer and um, the Noble Phantasms and everything. But I really do not want anyone else who are reluctant to get spoiled. So I probably will put a little tag or warning on the title that this contains spoiler so that's what i'll do i think so yes yeah, so yeah guys if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to let me know i'll definitely check them out so yeah and and your opinions on uh the, the new servant uh and the, like you know uh, the identity overall's identity and all that stuff so yeah so yeah guys thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next fgo video so until then goodbye and have a nice day